Hello and welcome. Today I bought a new light. This is a small rig. Small rig have recently entered the world of lighting as well as all the other stuff that they do. And this is their 120 watt uh, bicolor LED. I've already got a couple of Jinbei's, but really I feel a need for three lights at a minimum for video and preferably four. Now today I'm going to unbox this and we'll take a look at this light and we'll also take a look at its performance. Okay, now the light has uh, certainly got a quality feel to it. It's made of quite good quality plastic casting for the most part, but the front plate here is metal. Underneath, this is all metal. This is cast metal, as is this part. This is also a casting which has its advantages but disadvantages. If this was a piece of uh, folded sheet metal, it might bend possibly, but it wouldn't break, whereas this casting could break or shatter if it's struck. There's a hole here for a umbrella, with a screw to clamp it in place. This, which allows the light to tilt, is a sizable handle, get plenty of grip on that. But you can't, uh, it doesn't pull out and change position, so you're stuck with wherever it happens to be. On the front, we have the large COB, and on the back, we have two control buttons which rotate. They're also dual function, as we'll find out in a moment, because you can toggle their function by clicking them in. Over here is a reset button, an on-off switch, and a socket for the power supply. This is the power supply, and that just plugs in there, something like so. This is the power supply. It's quite a sizable brick. It doesn't have any way of attaching it to a C-stand. It has a very long cable, so it could sit on the floor. You could attach it to a C-stand, I suppose, with uh, some Velcro. But it's, uh, it's a large object, which is going to be a bit of an inconvenience sitting on the floor. 
We have a reflector supplied with it. This is a nice quality reflector with a dimpled uh, inside. Bowens, of course. Fits nicely, quite positively. The release uh, button here is a metal button. It has a nice action. But to remove it, to remove the reflector, you have to rotate it the opposite way to what you're used to for some reason. And conversely, to fit it, it goes anti-clockwise. Now, let's put it on a stand and turn it on and see what it does. So, magically, it's all connected up. Now let's turn it on. And we have light, surprisingly enough. Now, looking at the rear panel, what we can see is 2%. Let's turn this button and the brightness will go up. up. There's a lot of turning required to do this. 100%. We've got a lot, of, a lot of light sitting out there annoying us. If we click this button in, it changes to control the color temperature. So I can run that from 2700 all the way up to six and a half. Let's put it over there. Let's turn the brightness down a bit, down to 50 say. And we'll control the temperature that's sitting at 6500. We'll run it down to its lowest level, 2700. I think you can see that change taking place. It's not a great demonstration of it, but that's what it does. Now the other button here is the effects button. And it controls the special effects, which are a bit of a gimmick really, I think. You can have it set on normal at the moment. You can change it to paparazzi, um, fireworks, lightning, useful, foldy bulb, TV, breath, flash, Party, flame, and back to normal again. Now if we click this button in, it will control the parameters of whatever special effect we've got set. So if we, uh, for instance, pick uh, fireworks, click it in, we can change the fireworks setting from 10 down to down to a small number, all the way down to 1. That just controls the uh, whatever the parameters might be for the particular effect. And we'll change that back to normal, which is where, in reality, that's where it's going to be. Like. 99% of the time, so I can't see, I can't see anyone fiddling around with the uh, special effects. It's not really what you buy a light for. Now the next thing I'd like to look at is the uh, the brightness of this light. I'm going to do this with uh, the light at uh, full power. I'm going to use a uh, light meter at a distance of one meter. Now this light meter is set at an ISO of 800 and a shutter speed of 1 60th because 
that's uh, the only option that's got apart from 130th or 125th. Let's turn this back on. And fire it up to 100%. I'll stick this out at a meter distance. And that is giving me a reading of F16 and a half, which is quite substantial. Just as a matter of interest, if I take this reflector off, I'll try that again, same distance, oh, it's bright. That's giving me F8 and a half. Let's turn that off. Uh, I'm being illuminated at the moment by two, uh, what are they, not ninjas, <laughs> what are they called, Jinbei's, two Jinbei uh, 60 watt, very simple, cheap lights, cheaply made, and they're both in soft boxes. The main one is in a double diffusion soft box, and it's right in front of me and it's giving me f4 and a bit at uh, at full power now the interesting thing about that reading is that i've got the uh the camera set at f8 that i'm using the uh, false color on the camera to set uh, what I think is a desirable uh, position for skin tones. And that, uh, that gives me a lot more exposure than I would have expected to get from using a light meter. You can judge the uh, quality of the image yourself when you see it, as you're looking at it now. I've actually got a second uh, Jinbei in a softbox on that side, acting as fill. And that one's at 20-30%, something like that. So, conclusion. It's cheap, and it's okay. It works fine. It's a lot better build than the Jinbei's, I'll tell you that. It's probably not quite uh, twice as powerful for two reasons. One is that when you double the power of these lights, you don't necessarily double the light output. And second, when they are um, multicolor like this one, RGB or whatever you call it, they have changeable color, you don't get full, uh, the full light output at every uh, temperature setting. I don't know where you get the full uh, light output on this thing, but that setting I was using was at, uh, let us check again. You know, that was at 2700. So that's at, right at one end of the spectrum. It might have been, you know, different in the middle. Who knows? Well, let's try it. Goodness. When we're here, we might as well. Let's change that. Uh, color temperature yep, that's not what I want color temperature this one Let's just bring it up to 5000 and try it there that's on normal Well, that's actually F22 and, and a fair bit. It's nearly F32. That's surprising. Let's take it all the way up to wherever else it goes. Oh, wrong button again. This one. 
6500 that's the extreme at the blue end and that's giving us it's f22 again with a bit you know a bit over f22 not much so now i've got the small rig in the softbox in front of me where i had the gin bag before and i've got the uh, camera set at f11 small rigs at 100 uh, percent i'm approximately one meter from the front of the softbox and I'm getting a light reading of 5.6 just a fraction over 5.6 uh, obviously that's misleading uh, we wouldn't use that as an exposure in this situation because the brightest thing in the uh, in the image here is, is my beard everything else is going to be quite low down on the brightness scale so we wouldn't want to bring the overall brightness of the scene up to middle grey and as before I've used uh, false color as an indication of exposure and I'm putting uh, skin tone on this cheek at uh, just a little above uh, middle grey so, next uh, question would be, how loud is the fan? Well, from where I'm sitting, I have two lights in front of me. I have the small rig there, and I have a gin bay there. I can hear the fan on the gin bay. I can't hear the fan on the small rig. It is quite quiet. And I don't think there's any way you'd be able to hear it on uh, my uh, live mic. So... That's the small rig uh, 120 watt bicolor light. It's going to be a very useful addition to my repertoire. I currently have it and two of these Jinbais. These are 60 watts. And uh, they're cheap and nasty, but uh, when they do the job, they work. They provide light and uh, that's what we want so until next time slime